just won silver place in this month's Hobby Town to me a mini four wheel drive tune class races. 24 cars this month in tune class. I prevailed and got silver place. There was like mock frames galore in tune class and they were really, really challenging. And, and yeah, I was just fortunate that I was able to get a car on the podium this month. So yeah, I actually had two other cars that were also possibilities. I had Voltron, which you know I entered in open class um, last month. And I also had this one, do you remember Panda Bear? Yeah, so I revived Panda Bear and both of those were actually doing fairly well in all of the races. It's just that they coursed out at the very end. So unfortunately they didn't get into the finals. But yeah, this car made it to the finals and yeah, second place. Can't go wrong with that, pretty cool. And my prize here, I picked these rollers. Green rollers, yay! So I could place them here, right? But I think I like this combination of rollers better. And so I did need to remove my rollers off of the green goblin so that I can place them on my new Firefly 2 car. So I think I'll be using these on the green goblin. Pretty cool. So in box stock, unfortunately I didn't fare as well. That's the way the ball bounces, unfortunately. I had here the Venom FMA as well as Dove, my newest car. And you'll get a description of what Dove is capable of in another video. Pretty cool. This car here is four grams heavier than your typical mock frame. How did I do that? You'll have to watch the video to find out. Pretty cool. So this here, this car, I have a love-hate relationship with my Venom because it's got a 28,000 RPM engine in there and it's pretty darn fast. It's 26 kilometers per hour and yeah, pretty darn fast. The only problem with it is it courses out one too many times and that could be because of the polycarbonate reinforced chassis. So for whatever reason, this chassis just likes to course out a lot on technical tracks. Huh, really, really strange, I hate it. So yeah, all I did here was I used a new body shell on top of my Optimus chassis. So instead of racing my usual Optimus car, basically this is a new car with a new body. The new body shell weighs a little more than the previous body shell. And again, watch the video, you'll see how I did that. So unfortunately, even though both are very competitive cars, they didn't make the final run of the finals. And then I have here, in the open class, I raced one car. So unfortunately, I was going to enter a second car and that second car was this, Scooby-Doo. Unfortunately, what ha look what happened. The roller broke off. So during one of my test runs, unfortunately, my um, flexiplate got mangled and it just broke off. This, the rollers on this side just broke off. And so I'll need to repair it before I can continue racing with this car. Otherwise, this was a pretty darn car. It was smooth, it was fast. It wasn't the fastest car, but it was smooth along all those lanes. And yeah, I was kind of sad that I wasn't able to race Scooby-Doo again. So that's a shame. Firefly was a little too fast. Firefly was, was like pretty stable, but on one of the lanes it just had trouble. So I replaced my Hyper Dash motor with a light dash motor and unfortunately this wasn't fast enough to my liking so I don't think I would have been able to fare very well against that stellar competition in open class so I had hyper dash motors in there and I was trying to reduce my hyper dash speed to a lower hyper dash motor and unfortunately I ran into an issue where there was some gear there was some gear churning basically it was making some really weird noises so I didn't have confidence in this and I think it was the motor though, because once I replaced it with the original motor, everything sounded fine. So yeah, unfortunately, my, my, one of my Hyperdash motors is on the fritz. So it was just a one win day, but you know what? That win was with a car that I really enjoy racing, Eagle. So Eagle is, yeah, it's one of my cool cars in my fleet. It's not my fastest car. It's got these little wheels and it seems to hug the track very well with these little wheels. Not the fastest, but it turns around corners really quickly and yeah i'm proud of this car because this is a bmax style car that i put an atomic tuned engine in and it ran very well so here i had to knock down the speed of this i had to change this from a 351 gear to a 371 gear and i had to lower the battery voltage because this was going so breakneck fast like you saw how fast it was last month it was open class speed and yeah 
I didn't want open class speed on this particular track because it was purely technical, so it had to slow down the car. So a lot of people were probably using gear ratios four to one or so, and unfortunately, I didn't have enough time where I didn't want to switch this out to four to one. I wanted to keep it at either three five one or three seven one. So there, therein lies the issue, I think. I need a four to one gear ratio mock frame. And here, right here, Ganesha, it would have been cool to have this heavy car be a part of the races, but unfortunately this was coursing out way too much too. So that's why I went to my like a tried and true car right here. Heavy car, it's stable, not the fastest car, but it stays on the ground, stays on the track, and it just needs to, to basically wait for other cars to course out and then it'll win. So again, not the fastest car, but it can probably win a good race or two. So yeah, this is the car to beat, everybody. This is Eagle. It was gold in, in the Liberty Cup last month, silver this month at Hobbytown. Pretty fast car. I'll probably race this car again at the new Liberty Cup event. I don't know. I haven't developed the track yet. I know I've put up some designs so far, but I haven't built the track yet. It's still in boxes right now, still in pieces. I had to remove everything from my living room so I can practice for my yoga championship next week, next Saturday. So. Once I return, Saturday evening or so, that's when I'll start building the track. So yeah, if you like this video, please slam the like button, subscribe to my channel, and you'll see more videos just like this one. Until next time, everybody, see you, bye.